Hi everyone! Today's session is about tessellations. This is Teacher Angel and welcome to Math in Hue. The learning targets of today's topic is to recognize shapes that can tessellate and to tessellate a surface using triangles and squares. So are you ready? Great! Let's start! What is a tessellation? A tessellation or tiling is a repeated pattern or arrangement of shapes that can fill any space with no gaps or overlapping edges. Look at this. We can tessellate this shape. We can put together to form a pattern. Alright? So, a unit shape is a shape that is repeated over and over again to form a pattern. So, look at the example. Look at that figure. We use triangles, right? So, the, tri the unit shape in that pattern or figure, the new figure now is a triangle. We use triangle to tessellate, okay? Alright, so here are some shapes that can be tessellated. What shape is this? Correct, it's a square. So we can form a tessellation using a square or squares. Alright, just like that. Okay, we can also use this shape. What do you call this shape? A rectangle. Okay, we can combine the rectangles to form a tessellation. Okay, as you can see, there are no gaps or overlapping edges. Another shapes that can be tessellated, we can use triangles, right? Okay, just like our first example a while ago. We can use a hexagon. A hexagon has six sides. So if we tessellate a hexagon, it looks like we form a honeycomb, right? Okay. Now, can we tessellate these shapes? This pentagon, it's a five-sided polygon. Can we tessellate this one? Okay, let's try. Look. If we can tessellate it. Okay. What do you notice? Do you see spaces? Yes. So, if you see spaces, we cannot tessellate the pentagon. How about the circle? Let's try to tessellate the circle. Do you see spaces also? Yes, so we cannot tessellate the circle. How about the decagon? Let's try. You see, there is also a space, right? If you will use decagon only, we cannot tessellate decagon. How about the octagon? All right, let's continue. Okay, so can we tessellate octagon only? No, right? Yes, because there's a space. But if you're going to combine uh, an octagon and a square, we can actually combine these two shapes to form a tessellation. Okay, so can we find tessellation anywhere? Where can we find tessellations? Okay, great. So look at this. This can be found on carpets, right? On blankets, handkerchiefs clothing right this one the pattern on a shirt see we can use tessellation to create a design and on the floor right we can use tessellation too it's a combination of a square and a diamond so we can combine shapes actually to form a tessellation Okay, what about the arrows there? We can use arrows, right, to form a tessellation too. That can be painted on a wall. And the other one that can be found also on a ceiling in the church or a design. And this one on the pathway, okay, we can combine shapes to form a tessellation. Okay, so identify the unit shape that is used in each tessellation. What shape? is being used to tessellate this surface correct it's a square number two what shape yes it's a triangle that's the unit shape number three what's the unit shape it's a diamond very good and number four 
Yes, it's the arrow. All right. Now let's practice. I want you to try to tessellate the surface. Use triangles to tessellate the surface. Okay? And use squares to tessellate the surface. All right, let's do it together. So we can just fill in the space using the surface using triangles. All right, triangles all over. You can actually change the color of the white space there. You can put um, orange or yellow or any color that you like. And the next one, we use squares. So it looks like a chest, right, or a piano tile. So we can uh, change the color to form a pattern. So that's it, children. Very good. Well done. So if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that all notification bell so that you will be updated when I upload my new video. Thank you for watching. See you soon. God bless you all. Bye.